Oh, hello, my hearties. Dinky do. It is me, Scotty McClue, saying welcome to you Sunday night. Of course, nothing gets past me, and always very nice to have you along. So there we are. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We've just got a quick pop up just to see what's happening, what you're up to, and I can tell you what I'm up to, and we can do it all that way, of course. No problem at all. And uh, if you can tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, let everybody know that Scotty McClue is live. Live and that we are off and running. This is the big one. There's Tony Mack and Gavin McVicker. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And Neil Holgate. Good evening, Scott. This is Tony Mack. Good evening, Tony. Great to have you with us and welcome, welcome, welcome. Jerry McPhillips, how are you? Lovely to have you with us. All these incredible people popping up to join me. I like that. Fantastic. And um, a very good evening to you, of course. Peter Dale Nevins. There we are. I hope the dogs are behaving today. Scotty, how much have you raised so far? I'll keep you appraised of it, Gerard. I'll have to go and check. I think we're about a quarter of the way there. So about 25% of it raised already. But if you could pop £2.50 in, that would be absolutely smashing and very, very much appreciated. How's the lighting tonight? Are we okay tonight? There's Jim Heron and Paul Crutchanks. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to Scotty McClure's Sunday Night Pop-Up. Excellent stuff. Um, good evening, my pal. Looking after the pups. Oh, Peter Dillon Evans, you'll have your work cut out with these lovely, lovely pups. Fantastic, though. It's excellent. <coughs> Great result for Andy Murray listening here in Spain, says Jerry. Excellent, Jerry. We always like to see a good result for Andy. Scotty, where's the bonnet? The bonnet is here. Do you want it on? We can always put it on. There we are. Excellent stuff. Good evening, Scotty. How's your weekend been? Excellent weekend. Thank you Fiona McDonald, Brian Murphy, the bonnet is on now. Keep sharing and sharing everybody. Can you give Sky Wishart a big shout out, big man? Says Jamie Wishart. Of course we can, Jamie. Feeling a bit scared, um, says Tony Mack. I need to go for an eye cataract up. I'm told it doesn't hurt. Has anyone else been through it? Now, Tony Mack, please do not worry about this. They're experts, and all they're doing is lifting a little film off the top of your eye. They know what they are doing. And anybody I've spoken to has said, wow. So there you are. You're looking a bit flushed, says John Bob. But I'm looking bright enough, John. I've got a lighter shirt on. I'm just wondering if I could um, give us a wee bit more light. Wait till I see what's going on here. Stick with me. Aha! Is that looking better? Ah, there we are now. We're back to this little fellow again, are we? Right. Let me see what I can do here. There we are. I thought we'd crack this. I really did excellent stuff, but we shall see how it goes. Now, I sat back and that went lighter there. we will see what's going on here. That's fantastic. Dinky Doo from Dubai, says GM. GM out in Dubai there. A big Dinky Doo to you as well, of course. Fantastic. Martin Rose watching. Dinky Doo, Martin. Sunglasses on, says Paul Thompson. Is it very, very bright there, Paul? Is it bright enough as it is right now? Do tell me. Steve McLean and Andy McCrory is watching. John Hanlon says, good evening, Scotty. Good evening, John. John, thank you so much for your kindness for popping pennies into McClue's appeal for a friend. Lovely, lovely. PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. Um, excellent. Stuart Logan, good evening. Good evening, Stuart. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, of course. Just a quick pop-up to say hi to everybody. We popped up on Friday night, of course, which was excellent. Uh, Alan Mack, oh ho. Everybody's coming and joining us. Wait, do we see what I can do with this? That was amazing when that just went very light there. Yes, but uh, I'm going to try something. Now, I don't know if this will work. It might or it might not. But uh, I always like to try these things out when we're there. Sending best wishes, Mr. Dinky Doo, says Alan Mack. And to you, Alan, I hope all's well with you. Good to hear from you. Oh, you should have seen the poison I put up with today with the Brexit on, uh, on, on Facebook. Yes. How's that? Is that any better? Or not really? There we are. Do tell. Yes, this is quite interesting, this. We'll see, what does that look like, folks? Uh, happy to donate to your cause, says Tony Mack. Wishing you well, friend. Yes, and you were very, very generous, Tony. It was only £2.50, and you splashed out. 
So much appreciated. Louise Arrell's watching Dinky Doo. You're welcome, says John Hamlin. Thank you, John. Should be an independent Scotland invest in a space programme, says Martin Monica. Yes, I mean, I think so, but we need to uh, get one or two things done before we look at going into space. We need to sort out Scotland itself first. Patrick Smith's watching. Uh, there we are. So I hope that's a reasonable answer, Martin. I think we've probably got other things to do. <coughs> Paul Thompson says, I'm doing it now. Funny memories of you, as in how much do you change to haunt a hoose? How much do you charge to haunt a hoose? Big love, says Paul Thompson. Oh, I'll haunt your hoose for nothing. I mean, what makes you think I'm actually here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, got you thinking now. That's a bit of a panic, isn't it, big style? Is that any help, folks, or is it better like that? There we are. I used to go out with um, an optician, a lady optician. She was marvellous, but she used to say to me, is it better like this, or is it better like that? Like this, or like that? The picture's a bit dark, Scotty, says the wonderful Gordon Roddy. Gordon Wright. Now, you're a man that knows your stuff, so let me... Do a bit of larking about here and see if we can get something. Fantastic. That's very dark, isn't it? Yes. So there we are. Somebody asking, should we send Boris up? <laughs> Just joking, says Tony. Absolutely. Poor Boris. He had quite a day of it yesterday, didn't he? There we are. We go very light, don't we? Now, let me see if we can do something. That's not so good, is it? Tell me how that is. Uh, Susan Forrest watching Dinky Doo, Susan. Nice to have you with us down in Lancashire there. Our planet will eventually fall apart. We need to discover new worlds to preserve mankind. Well, maybe it is an absolute priority then, Martin. I don't know if you've ever had a wee trip maybe down to the south of Ireland and seen just how stunningly beautiful it is there. And you think, this planet's absolutely fine. You know, that kind of idea. So I wonder why this is dark, Gordon. It might actually be the shot is too light and it's uh, mucking about with the, the colours. Yes, that sort of thing. That can happen, can't it? So there we go. Right, we'll see how that's looking. Um, is that a candle, Scotty? <laughs> yeah, that's okay, says Brian Murphy. Is that all right, Brian? Um, is that fair enough, would you say? Um, so there we go. I'm always interested, though, in how to get exactly right. I don't want to splash with too much light, um, you know, from that point of view. Uh, we'll see how that goes. That's darker, isn't it? Well, 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 I don't know. Uh, very irritating when somebody's fiddling about like that when you're supposed to be actually broadcasting, isn't it? Somebody's mucking about with the lights. You think, could you not get this right first, Scotty? You can't actually because, believe it or not, it's a little bit dark before you come on. And then it brightens up when you actually come on. <coughs> That's okay, says Brian. We'll go with okay just now, Brian. Was Boris Johnson being childish by not signing the Brexit extension as he's required to do by law? Tony Mac. Well, the thing is, Tony, um, you know, when he said that it was Parliament's letter and not his, of course it's Parliament's letter. He is Parliament's chosen representative to present that letter. So I don't know where it's not from him comes into it. Do you know what I mean? Because you can't separate the office and the individual. The individual is nothing without the office. So there we are. So it's coming from the office of the uh, the head of the British government. So there we go. Uh, Scotty, did you see all the English MPs walking out when a Scott got up to talk in the House of Commons? It's happened a few times. It's so rude. Well, there's a lot of rudeness goes on, but there's also some quite good comedy. A guy stood up yesterday and said, can I ask a, a question, a genuine question? And um, his pals, the, the mic picked up his pals, you know, just doing asides. One goes, yes, 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 um, first time, <laughs> asking for a friend, that sort of stuff. And they drop these things in. So a guy was speaking one day in the House of Commons and he said, where are people going to go to get fed, you know? And somebody's shouting, they're going to go down the trippy behind them. All that goes on, you see. Glasgow Hackney drivers have not heard about the nice wooden levy seats for a while. 
says Martin. Indeed, Martin. We need to sort that out. Um, Jim Gallagher is watching. Hello, Jim. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Just a quick pop up Sunday night just to keep the seat warm. If you can do a lot of sharing now and let everybody know we're actually on, <coughs> that would be fabulous. There's Steph McElvinny. Dinky do, Steph. Lovely to have you with us, of course. Always is. That's marvellous. Uh, we had a super pop-up the other night, so you'll be able to see that. I do little watch parties for you, and uh, I hope you can pick all that up there and then. Now, can we all do a bit of sharing? I can share from here, of course. Fantastic. Uh, we've only had one share so far. Thanks for the reassurance about the IOP. No problem, Tony. Um, everybody I've spoken to has been absolutely delighted with it. So there you are. And it was no problem at all. They didn't even notice it. Um, so please don't worry from that point of view. Right, I'm just sharing here. Let everybody know what's happening. And we'll share to our... Um, oh, hello, Scotty. Good evening from Coatbridge. Good evening, Steph. Lovely to have you with us. Oh, that looks absolutely fine, folks. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Excellent stuff. I quite like that. There we go. So I'm just going to share in public, let everybody know we're here. Um, shared over 100,000 people, says Martin Monaghan. Good, Martin. Excellent. Let's get the figures up and get going here. Fantastic stuff. That's what we like. That's been shared. Good. That's excellent stuff. Lorna Jarvis is watching. Dinky do, Lorna. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. Along you on tonight, Scotty, says Brian Murphy. Just for a few minutes, Brian, just a quick pop up because I need to dash off to Nation Radio Scotland at 10 o'clock for the big broadcast. Live on 96.3 on the FM across central Scotland. Marvellous. <coughs> this lighting is uh, is irritating me a wee bit, dare I say. Dare I say. It's not like old McClure to get too bothered about anything, but for some reason, that's annoying me. I'm just seeing something. I'm not sure if it's the camera or if it's the actual lighting itself. Anyway, um, how long am I on tonight? So just until you get fed up. So we'll give that another minute or two, Brian. No problem at all. Um... Tony, don't you worry, I've had quite a few patients that have had it um, and uh, had it done and they've all said it's no problems. There you are, there's the wonderful Gary Crossing, just reassuring you there, fantastic stuff. Lawrence L.D. Devaney is with us, tremendous Lawrence, thank you, is Brexit bad for all of the UK? Brexit's bad news, Martin. I mean, the EU is a market of 28 countries, 510 million people. There is absolutely no reason to leave the EU, and there's certainly no rush to leave the EU. And I was watching people today, I've put up with tremendous abuse and cheek from leavers who have no argument at all. They can't tell you why they're leaving. Dinky do, Scotty, from sunny Pisa. So Lawrence is in Pisa in Italy, Pisa. Thank you, Gary Crossan. So there you are. No problem, Tony. We like to look after our people on here. Reassurance is our big thing, and it's genuine. Is that a new bonnet? Well, it's fairly new, actually. Do you prefer me without the bonnet, though? You need to say, a wee bit thin on the old top there, but you need to tell me what you think, folks. Should we have the bonnet? Should we not? Just going to do another wee bit of sharing here. Fantastic stuff. Let everybody know what's going on. I'll share to the Scotty McClue page and say that we're just live now. And if you cannot share, 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 share. Kareem Sakaraya, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. We really appreciate that. And uh, I'm just going to send out a bit of chat here. Let everybody know we're on wonderful. And there it goes. The lighting has gone all strange again, Scotty. Uh, it went all strange, says Brian. It's gone all strange, Brian. We, we say gone. We don't say it's went. My goodness me. Right, I'm just wondering what's going on with it, though. If we can see if we can sort it. Sort that lighting. Oh, do you see it brightening up when we go back? Very interesting. So, what happens if I do that? Is that any help? Or does that brighten things up a bit? 
Uh, Scotty, why does politics cause friends to argue Labour versus the Tories? Well, I don't, you see, Brexit's not really about left wing or right wing or any of that. People have kind of jumped on the bandwagon, but it's a split between one political party and the rest of us have been drawn into it. And uh, you know exactly who's drawn us into it. So there you are, the main player on stage at the moment. How are you, my friend, says Stephen Dodds. And of course, Mr. Cameron, who was there at the start of it, he uh, he got off his mark. So there you are. So we don't see him. Keep the bonnet on, says Steph. True, Scotty, says Robert. Yes, Robert, you'll always get the truth from a clue. So there you go. We like to tell you the truth. We like to keep you up to date. People need to hear the truth. Fantastic. So there you are. That's what I'm doing there. And um, I'm wondering if I was to put on a darker colour. Thank you, Scotty. Hope you're well. A shout out to Alison and Jackie and Paisley from Jackie McCauley Brody. Absolutely, Jackie. Dinky do to the buddies in Paisley there. Fantastic stuff. Right, so that's been shared. So I shall just do some more sharing. And if you can do the same, that would be fantastic. I'll share to the Scotty McClure group and let everybody know what's happening there. Um, well gone strange, I meant. Yes, yes, the lighting's gone strange. We're wondering if that helps. Does that help if we do that by any chance? So there you are. Do tell. It's very important we get this blooming writing, the writing and lighting, the writing and the lighting. I'm just wondering if I've got a dark thing I could put on. Um, let me do a runner and see if I can get a darker jacket and see if that makes a difference. Let's experiment. Well gone, Strange. Right, so don't you go away and keep my place nice and warm. All right, I'll be back in a couple of seconds. I'm going to wait to see if we can get something that's darker, and then we can see what's what. Fantastic. So there we go. And uh, pop this on. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. Right, we'll try a darker jacket. Mmm, let's we'll see if that makes a difference. Right, don't you go in there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 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 Oh, ho, ho
So there we go, and get the uh, pro camera. I'm trying to save up for it, of course. I've got two things running. One, I'm saving up for a friend. I need £2.50 from every single one of you to paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. Also, we're raising money for little bits of equipment and advertising for the show. And as you know, you've had maybe 250, 300 shows uh, for nothing. Dinky do, Scotty, looking fab. All good so long as we have the chance to interact with you. Stiff. B. What a lovely, lovely thing to say and dinky do. We can always interact on here. That's what the Scotty McClue pop ups are for. They are for interaction with each other. Somebody was saying recently that uh, Scotty McClue should get the Nobel Prize, and people, of course, thought, What for? What for? Uh, for world unity. Excellent stuff. Jacqueline, quick dinky do. Um, I wish I could read you a sample of what we were getting when I was posting on Brexit today. Ooh, the bile, the bile from the people. Um, there we are. Jacqueline, quick dinky do. Michael Yule. Ooh. Ooh, that's lush. Lovely, lovely. Always very nice. There were, we're quite quiet tonight, folks. If everybody shares and shares and shares, we might just manage to hit the old spot. So there we are. And uh, I'm just sharing to the story as well. Quite important. But there might be something big on the telly. Do you remember a show called The Bodyguard came on the telly? And I thought, my figures are a little bit down tonight. Of course, there were, was, was it? What, how many were watching? 13, 15 million watching the bodyguard. Richard McCusker, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, I say. I'm just going to share to another group and let people know what's happening there. Fantastic stuff. And uh, I'll share to one of the big Facebook groups. Good, wonderful. That's the stuff. Let them know what is what. Mm. Get everybody to come and join us. Uh, Kevin Stars is talking to Stephen Scooby. Wonderful. That's what we like. A bit of interaction coming here. Here we go. Facebook. And uh, we'll send around one of the big communities. There we go. That's that one. I'll pop it off to that one. There we are. Let everybody know that Scotty McClue has popped up to say dinky do to every single one of you. Now, um, there we are. And that's that. Good. Right. All the sharing. Now, uh, what else can I tell you? Yes. Uh, feel free to come on and have a chit chat. Do you like the pop ups? Do you like the, um, the watch parties that we can do just popping up random? So there you are. A guy started the other night, he says, with your watch parties. And then he said, actually, no, I love them. Like and share, like you just don't care. Stephen Dodge, you are so good. I love your little numbers there. Fantastic. And of course, come and join me at 10 o'clock sharp on Nation Radio. Very, very important. Steve Mack and Michael Yule are with us right now. Fantastic. Fantastic stuff. Dinky do to every single one of you. There isn't any rhyme or reason to it, though. There's Neil O'Gormley. Dinky do, Neil O'Gormley. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to Scotty McClue's pop up just to say hi to every single one of you. Martin Park. Hello, Scotty. Have you ever thought of becoming a member of parliament or an MSP and do your broadcasting job on the side? So there you are. Well, it did, you didn't used to be able to do a broadcasting job on the side as an MP, but I noticed that... Um, a lot of parliamentarians and politicians are popping up now on radio. As long as you show on Nation Radio tonight, 2200, Scotty, what channel are you on? 96.3 on the FM or www.nationradio.scot. And we're 10 o'clock sharp through until midnight. So there we are. The wonderful Alan Brown in Washington, D.C. has just joined us. Thank you, do, Alan. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. Okay, says Brian. Good, Brian Murphy there. Come and join us, Brian. You'll enjoy it. It's a great show. And everybody's talking about it. And everybody's listening. 
Marvellous. They were on Nation Radio, and uh, one year ago, it was virtually a brand new station in Scotland. It's now been on for a year. The music's outstanding. Wonderful stuff. And the telephone number's 0141811 Stevie Dodds has just been kind enough to provide it for us. Hi there, how you doing? Says Angela Goodlett. Great, Angela. Excellent stuff. I thought I'd just pop up and say hi. Uh, I'll listen to it, says Brian Murphy. No, do, Brian. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, well, you know what Scotty McClure's like. The only thing is, it's not quite as uh, setting the heather on fire as we did 25 years ago, simply because, uh, you know, things have changed. The world has changed. You know, we used to have very benign politicians and uh, now the politicians are muscling in there on the showbiz. Uh, good evening, sir, says Neil O'Gormley. Good evening, Neil. I hope you are well and dinky-do. Lovely to have you with us tonight. Excellent stuff. Keep the sharing going, guys. Lots and lots of shares. Never a problem. I'm just going to share in general, let everybody know what is what. There's Martin Park on as well. Now, if you're messaging me, Remember, I've not got Messenger except on one device, right? So it's uh, it's not easy to get your messages because I remember getting in touch with somebody that wanted me to do an after-dinner speech. And uh, in fact, no, it was addressing a conference, I think. And I got in touch with them and I said I, I wasn't sure of my availability round about that time because it was quite a busy time. And he said, don't worry, Scotty, that was last year I messaged you for that. Sure enough, I looked at the year. Because you know quite often when you're looking at a date, you don't look at the year. And I looked at the year, I thought, oh my goodness, it was. It was last year. And I hadn't picked up the message. So they are tut, 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 tut on me, I say. Uh, so that's what's going on there. But um, we're still doing all our after-dinner speaking, very, very busy on the circuits, as they say. And if you're wanting voiceovers for your adverts, you're wanting your business to actually sell something, you think, do you know what? I think I'll get Scotty McClue on this. <laughs> Andrew Clark, dinky-doo, lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. Come and join us. Quick Scotty McClue pop up just for you, dinky Oh My goodness me, I've been on for about half an hour already. Time flies when you're enjoying yourself. I always say it. Just woo! Excellent stuff. Can we all have another share? Uh, let everybody know what's happening. I'm going to share on a page. Now, you know there are about five Scotty McClure pages, so get on and like them all. Do a good bit of searching around Facebook for Scotty McClure. There's Dinky Doo, and there's another big page called Scotty McClure. About almost 6,000 of you are on that one. So there's lots and lots of people there. And uh, you need to uh, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Excellent. That's what we like. Do you do Nation Radio from the McClue's estate, Scotty? Or oh, Alan Brown from McClue Towers? That would be telling. So there we are. Wonderful. Mm. How are things in Washington, D.C., Alan Brown? What's your subject tonight for the radio? Well, we've got lots of things to talk about tonight for the radio, Stephen Dodds. So there we go, wonderful. This keeps pausing. Does it happen when you're watching? Does it suddenly flicker and disappear for a little bit and come back? I think they're trying to send ads out in the middle of the program, of course, and that is a bit of a no-no. So there we are. We don't like the ads out in the middle of the program. So do tell, I say, um, and uh, tell us if you can uh, see this. If you get, do you get notifications? Yes, Stephen. Yes, it disappears and it tells me to resume broadcast. It freezes. It does for a second, Brian Murphy. That's what I find right a little bit strange. Dinky do, Scott Ayers. There's Alistair King, the world's top mechanic. Dinky do, Alistair. Uh, we still haven't uh, got the old motor running yet, but I'll get into that. Fuel pressure switch I'm good to look at. Doing well, my pal, says, uh, says Alan Brown. Good, good. I'm very pleased to hear that, Alan. Fantastic. You're a lot younger than me, of course, but we were students together. Let me see if I can remember exactly when we were students together almost 20 years ago, 18 years ago. No, 28 years ago. 
Wow. We were students together 28 years ago. Is that right, Alan Brown? Have I got that right? Only a second. We get all the good parts of the pop-ups of Stephen Dodds. Is that when I go off or when I'm on, Stephen? Ha <laughs> ha. Just see what I just did there. There we are. A wee bit of a merry jeep for you all. Fantastic. Now, uh, what else? A little bit more sharing. I say share, 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 share. Share, 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 share to the pages. Let everybody know what is happening. So I'm doing the sharing, and if you can do the same, that would be fantastic. Uh, I'll share to that page there as well. That's always a biggie. And I'll just put that we're live just now. Um, wonderful. Live. Uh-huh. Live now. And that helps people. That lets everybody know what's going on. And we'll just post that there. Good. Excellent stuff. Uh, Alan Brown, 1991. So it was 28 years ago, Alan Brown. My goodness me. Good evening, Scotty. Nice to see you again. There's a wonderful Peter Connolly. Excellent, Peter. I'm not sure you would have seen me earlier. The lighting was playing up. And um, people get fed up with that. You need some fishing flies in that bonnet, Scotty. I know. I remember um, a, a fisherman once lent me a shot, a kind of coarse army type shot, and there was a fishing hook. And I said, Well, there's a hook in this. I'll take it out. He went, No, no, just leave it. So, oh dear. Facebook, leave the man alone, says Stephen Dodds. Scotty McClure to sort out the dafties in Westminster over Brexit. Dinky do. Absolutely. Scotty, would you like to see Scotland as an independent country as England doesn't dinky do enough for Scotland? Well, I don't know if you saw um, our uh, Scottish um, people speaking in Parliament yesterday. Very, very good and very, very articulate. So there you are. Excellent stuff. That was a very interesting session. I watched every bit of that Saturday session in Parliament yesterday. And um, it was strange. Uh, hi, Scotty. Hi, Susan Forrest. Think you do in a week. Susan's in Lancashire there. Fantastic. I... Um, was fascinated just by the way things were going on and how they were manoeuvring that. I think things have definitely changed and the UK certainly does not want to leave the EU. So all this trying to force it out against its will. And I'm glad people are standing up for that because it doesn't look too good if we did leave, you know, from that point of view. Because what people forget, they talk about the EU as if there's some kind of monsters. We are the EU. It's our EU. We're all Europeans. We would say, I'm not European, I'm, I'm English, and the rest of it. Well, England is in Europe. <coughs> Pardon me. There's Moira, Chico's mum. How is Chico doing? I know Chico is a Spaniel, a gorgeous, gorgeous Spaniel. Uh, hi, Scotty, lost you there. We're back now. No problem, Tony Mac. So there you are, a wee gremlin playing a wee trick. But is it not fantastic that we can meet like this um, in any night? I watched it too. Boris ran away yet again, says Alistair King. I think he did, Alistair, because I was waiting for the big vote and then everything went quiet and I thought, have I missed it? Was the vote only Oliver Letwin's amendment? And then I thought, no, there was the big vote and now we have to have it again and that doesn't look too good so there you are i don't know who's advising but uh, but that did not look good at all we should have had that vote yesterday welcome 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 if you've just joined us lovely to have you with us of course tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 if you're watching right now can you just click share uh, thanks for talking to Mrs. Mac in the wireless the other week. She sends her love to you and best wishes. Absolutely, and love to her, Tony Mac. You've got an absolute cracker of a Mrs. Mac there. A wonderful, wonderful lady who looks after you. And that's excellent. I thought she was a broadcaster because uh, she spoke so very, very well in the wireless. Well, there we are. So I thought to myself, this lady must be a broadcaster. Fantastic. And she said, no. So there you are. My husband's the broadcaster, you see. Mm. Oh, that's absolutely lush. Now, how's the time? Because I have to dash. I'll have to dash in a few minutes' time.
So there we are. Um, he's selling us in Scotland down the river. General election, Scotty, says Brian Murphy. Yes, I think there's probably a general election. Or maybe another people's vote. There's a wonderful Gordon Sterling. He of the big red bus. Is it a gardener that's in the big red bus, Gordon? And are you familiar with the Leland Arab? Um, hope to get through tonight, Scotty McClure, Dinky Doo, Kareem Zachariah. I hope you get through, but the phones are so busy. If you've just joined us, folk, then we're uh, we're on uh, Nation Radio at 10 o'clock sharp tonight in just over half an hour's time. I think Trump's advising Boris, so there you are, pay the pick a fight and run. Yeah, no, but it's very, very strange because the big red bus, that was Boris. So, you know, all this talk about 9.25, says Susan Forrest. Thank you, Susan. I'll have to go in five minutes' time, guys. AEC Power, says Gordon Sterling. Aha! Do you remember um, ERFs? Do you remember Atkinson's? Atkinson's had gardeners. If you look to the front of an Atkinson truck, there was the big A in the chrome circle, and then beside it you had a little badge that said gardener. There you are. Uh, the people of Scotland are silly, Scotty. They have no idea about the vote of Brexit. Well, some of the abuse I had to put up with today. It's very strange. I've never, ever, ever had a lever who could give me a proper discussion or debate. So there we are with any clarity. Just rudeness all the time. Idiot and half wet and all that stuff. Um, UK vote, not Scottish. Democratic vote. Uh, John McNaught, that's the thing, is it wasn't democratic. Seddon Atkinson. Yes, Seddon, you've put, is it Seddon? Is that right, Gordon Sterling? Am I correct? Seddon, sorry. Yes, Gordon's correct. There. Seddon. Seddon Atkinson, the big Atkinson lorries. It has to go back to the public. This parliament will never agree on any deal, but it's good they don't agree. Do not get Brexit weary. Right, there shouldn't be Brexit at all. Brian Murphy's term is twenty one twenty seven. Good. So um, the station clock is up to date. I say, fantastic. I think Scotland has to go independent. It's the only way forward. Well, economically, it can do. Explain why not democratic? Because you only had thirty three million out of seventy million voting. So less than half the people who are affected. Now you'll say, ah, but they couldn't vote. Doesn't matter. They were affected by it. Also, it was an opinion poll. There was no mention of actually leaving. It was, would you like to stay or leave? So there we are. We're nearly at 10. It's time to get the phone handy, just like para handy, says Stephen Dodds. Absolutely. And also the proroguing of Parliament was not democratic either. So what's happened is the public are kind of being what from the back here because this is a party political stunt that's gone horribly wrong for the party. And all the Alf Garnet people and the xenophobes and folk of low intelligence have thought, oh, let's get away from the dictatorial EU. Everything in the EU is agreed by its members. And we have EU elections, so there's no dictatorship. And the EU is ours. We built it up. Yeah, of course not, Scotty. The xenophobes, which means they can't be done up with a logical debate because their minds are filled with hatred. Absolutely, Robert T. Kerr, and there shouldn't be any hatred, but they're all coming on going, are you drunk? And are you, are you, are you an idiot? And are you complete nutcase? And, but there's no argument. There's nothing to say, ah, no, Scotty, uh, I see where you're coming from, but there's none of that. So in other words, leavers don't know why they're leaving. <coughs> and of course it's been pushed on them, you know, very important. So there we are, democratic. The EU needs us just as much as we need them. Well, we are the EU, right? I mean, this is the seat at the big table with 510 million of a market, 28 countries, and we control 30% of it with our dear friends and allies, Germany. We've got 30% of it. We lose that. We lose our seat at the big table. We lose our clout. So there you are. Do you honestly think it would be better for Scotland? Um, we will leave the EU. No, 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 no. Not good for Scotland. Right. What you've got here, I've seen this discussed a lot. People say, oh, you want away from the UK, but not from the Europe. Oh! They don't understand that the EU, Scotland's traded with Europe for over a thousand years. 
the EU is just the latest sort of morphosis of that trading block. So there you are. I mean, if you go down the East Coast, you go over to East Lothian, and then you follow that down to Hull, you'll see red pantiles on the roofs of the houses. And that's because um, these have come over from the Low Countries, from the Benelux countries. Wonderful. Looking forward to hearing your nation radio at 10 o'clock. They are so John McNaught. No, economically, Scotland would do very well because Scotland's subsidising the UK to the tune of over £60 billion a year, right? We get some of that back, but we are keeping the whole ship afloat. Otherwise, the British government would have said, oh, you want to go independent Scotland? Oh, absolutely. Cheery, bye. Save us a few quid. Not happening. There you are. You're some man giving us your grace before the show. You're priceless to Stephen Dodds. Oh, no, no, I just like to give people the chit-chat to let folk know what's happening. I need to dash now. Uh, we'll be listening on Nation Radio. My love to your good self, to Anna, Linda, Karim, David, Rapp, Hamish. God bless you all. I thank you. God bless you. Um, I bet the opposition party's never even read the latest deal. <laughs> there we go. Brian Murphy. Um, so, oh, my goodness. He's watching the darts. Excellent, Brian. Good for you. Dinky do with the darts. Right. Scotty McClue has to dash off. Of your dear selves. There we are with a wee blip there. And we'll all catch up again soon. Come and join me on Nation Radio at 10 o'clock sharp, 96.3 in the FM or www.nationradio.scot. Wonderful. Welcome, welcome, welcome. From me, Scotty McClure, to every single one of you. Good night. God bless. Dinky do and ta-da, lads.